scary, but it's pretty easy. The only downside is that it's a little time consuming, but you can make up for that by doing it with a group of friends for a party, uh, for a quick appetizer. So what I did was use a pound of ground chicken, and then I added some sesame seeds, a scallion, and in case you don't know what a scallion is, it's the same thing as a green onion, just one of these, and I used three of them, uh, and some sesame oil, which you can find at any grocery store, it's about three bucks, and soy sauce. And I just mix it in together, and that becomes your filling for the dumpling. And then you can also jazz it up by adding some ginger, some garlic, whatever flavors you really want to taste in your dumpling. So what you do is you're gonna wanna buy uh, any type of brand, but basically just dumpling wrappers. And it's pretty simple from there on out. We're gonna take a half a teaspoon of the filling and put it in the center. And what you're gonna wanna do is while, while you're doing this, your fingers are gonna get a little messy. So you just want a little damp cloth by your side right there uh, to clean up when you're folding the wrappers. So now that my hands are clean, you want just a couple of tablespoons of water in a little bowl, and you're just gonna trace the outer edges with water, because you're gonna want the wonton wrapper to stick together. So now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different ways to wrap it. I'm gonna show you the hard way first, but it's not really that hard. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it like a taco and just press the top part together. Now we're gonna take both ends and we're just gonna push it in, make like a U, and push the flaps together to the other side. And you wanna just make sure that it's all sticking together, all the edges are sticking together and no meat is popping out. And then your goal is to make it look like an H. So that's pretty H-like. And then you're gonna need a little more water because you're gonna take the flaps and push them towards the center. And this part's a little harder just because uh, the wonton wrapper tears easily. So you're just gonna wanna be a little delicate with this. show you the easier way and it's way faster. You're going to once again trace the outer layer and now just as you did before fold it like a taco but this time you're going to press the top and all around together. And you can also make it really fun. I have some pre-made ones here for you. Uh, use a fork to just go out of the edges and make it a little uh, edged and pretty. Now after you're done, you're going to take your dumplings and you're going to put it in a pot of boiling water. And time-wise, you just wait until they float up and then you scoop them out. All right, so it's just about time to take them out. And the cool thing too about this recipe is you can not only boil them, but you can also pan fry them on the stove top. This way, uh, by boiling, it's a little healthier because you're not dealing with any of the oils. And it gives a different texture, definitely. This is more on the softer side, whereas pan frying it, it gets a little crispy. Both delicious. All right. So we still have a bunch in the pot, but for right now, I'll just show you how beautiful they look. Look just like what you would have at a restaurant. And now let's just cut into one. And what we have here is perfectly cooked chicken inside and a little hot. But I also have an Asian dipping sauce. You can use any type of sauce if you just want soy sauce or just eat it plain. Um, they're good just every which way. Perfect.